the Kraft Foods Company presents Willard Waterman as the Great Gildersleeve. The Great Gildersleeve is brought to you each week by the Kraft Foods Company. Kraft, you know, is the maker of Velveeta, the pasteurized processed cheese food that's so delicious. For Velveeta has a cheddar cheese flavor that's wonderfully rich, yet delightfully mild. And here's one very good reason why you can be sure that Velveeta is the cheese food of top quality. Velveeta is made by Kraft, and for years the name Kraft has meant the very finest cheese and cheese foods. So try Velveeta soon, won't you? See for yourself how good it is. And remember, only Kraft makes Velveeta. Well, old man Winter blew into Summerfield last night, and it looks like he's here to stay. Out at the great Gildersleeve's house this morning, our water commissioner is down in the basement, having a little set-to with the furnace. Confounded furnace. No heat coming out, Miss Gildersleeve. Yeah, I'm working on it, Bertie. Are you coming, huh? Yeah, I'm doing all right, Leroy. It takes a little time to get the furnace fired up on a cold morning like this. Well, we're having a keen time up in the kitchen. Old Marge and Bronco and me all standing around in front of the stove. I got broiled. No heat coming up yet! It's coming, Bertie. Why don't we get an oil furnace, Unc? All you got to do is turn it on and bang, it goes. Bang. The oil furnaces cost money, my boy. Besides, what would we do with this one? We could use it for a deep freeze. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid an oil furnace is a little beyond our means right now. Well, you could promote one. You know, tell the guy you want to try it out. And then we can try it out for three or four years. Oh, my goodness. That is an honest, Leroy. He turned up now, Miss Gilsey. All right, Bertie. What's the honest about it? They give you a free trial. You just don't say how long, Uncle Mort. Leroy, they wouldn't do that. Besides, I wouldn't do such a thing. I'm the water commissioner, a city official. Whatever I do has to be absolutely on the up and up. Yeah, I guess so. That's something for you to remember, too, my boy. Never let yourself get mixed up in anything that isn't open and above board. Honesty is the best policy. Every time. Uncle Mort! Yes, Marjorie? Judge Hooker is here. Be right there. Come on, (laughs) D-Roy. Morning, Gilda. Well, hello, Judge. It's such a cold morning, I thought I'd stop by and drive you downtown in my new car. I have a heater. Well, thank you, Horace. Well, good morning, Judge. Morning, Marjorie. Leroy. Hi. Won't you have some breakfast with us? No, thanks, Marjorie. I've had my rye crisp and a beaker of Kalak water. <laughs> oh, brother. Judge, on a day like this, how can you operate on Kalak water? Maybe he mixes it with antifreeze. <laughs> Leroy. Holy oh, kidding. Very amusing, Leroy. But if you don't mind, I won't eat. I'm not hungry. I'm a little worried. You worried, Judge? I suppose you read of the mayor's plans for a shake-up at City Hall? No, I haven't seen the morning paper. Well, the paper doesn't mention names, Gildy, but I happen to know who the mayor intends to let out. Well, it can't be me. No, but I know who it is. Who, Horace? Well, don't rush me. Let me tell you how I came by the information. Judge, just tell me who it is. I went to a movie last evening with Miss Matterhorn. She's in the Hall of Records, you know. Yes, Judge. On the way home, after we discussed the picture, which, by the way, was excellent, but that's beside the point. Yeah, I'll say it is. Who's being let out? I'm coming to that. Windy old goat. (laughs) It seems that Miss Matterhorn was lunching at the cafeteria with the mayor's secretary. They lunch together on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Judge, who's getting the axe? (laughs) Well, to make a long story short, Chief of Police Gates. The chief? 
Not Chief Gates. Gosh, good old Chief Gates. You can see why I'm worried, Gildy. Our old friend and fellow jolly boy is facing a catastrophe. This is terrible. He's such a gentle, kind man. That seems to be the trouble, my dear. He hasn't made a major arrest all year. He returns a lot of lost dogs. <laughs> Uncle, can't you do something about it? Well, I'm sure if anybody can do something about it, I can. Yeah, Uncle's in solid with the mayor. You bet. If I may say so, Gildy, I don't think the chief's future should be entrusted to you alone. Oh? Why not? I propose we form a committee of influential citizens with me at the head. Yeah, I knew it. Publicity hound. <laughs> what? Judge, we don't need a committee. We don't need a head. I'll handle it. Good for you, Anki. Oh, yeah. boy, Anki. Yeah, I'll talk to the mayor first thing this morning. Well, if you think you can do it, Gilday. Sure. Good. Then at the Jolly Boys meeting this evening, we can tell Chief Gates the glad tidings. A good idea, Judge. My, it'll be like an early Christmas present to our old and dear friend. Well, don't worry about a thing. I won't, Gilda. My, I'm so relieved I could just burst out into song. Tarara boom die, tarara boom die. The singing old goat. <laughs> Judge is a well-meaning old fellow. There's no use organizing a committee to do what one good man can do. If the mayor gives me any trouble, I'll just diplomatically remind him that I got him re-elected. Yeah, Gildersleeve, you're smooth. You Mr. Mayor? Yes, who is it? It's I, Throckmorton P. Gildersleeve. Oh, come in, Gildersleeve. Thank you. Well, what's on the water commissioner's mind? Well, the water commissioner would like to put on a little pressure. <laughs> yeah. Yes, well, uh, we, uh, we could have used some pressure this morning, Gildersleeve. All I got out of my faucet was a drip. I thought about you. Oh? <laughs> I wonder what he meant by that. Well, Gildersleeve, what's on your mind? I'm uh, busy reading about myself in the paper. Oh, yes. That's what I want to talk to you about, Mr. Mayor. The grapevine tells me you're going to dismiss Police Chief Gates. You heard correctly. No, Mr. Mayor. If I were you, I'd go easy on this shake-up business. Gildersleeve, you're not me. Are you presuming to tell me how to run my office? You no. Know, certainly not, Mr. Mayor. But why pick on the chief? Gildersleeve, I can see you're not aware of the trend. The trend? Since elections, they're talking shake-up throughout the country. It's an extremely popular movement. And my administration isn't going to be behind the times. Yeah, but getting rid of the chief might not be popular in Summerfield. Well, why not? He never arrests anybody. That's the chief reason he isn't going to be chief any longer. <laughs> <laughs> but, Mr. Mayor, you wouldn't do that to a friend of mine. Oh, wouldn't I? Don't forget, I can retire him just as easily as I can fire you. Oof! <laughs> you can't fire me. You don't have a reason. Well, I can find a reason. Oh, yeah, don't forget, old man, that it was I who got you reelected. Gildersleeve, that's an insult. Get out of my office. Gladly. You didn't elect me. You just planned on my bandwagon. That was no bandwagon. That was a dump truck. <laughs> Doesn't pay to be diplomatic with the mayor. Now what'll I tell the jolly boys tonight? <laughs> didn't come to the meeting tonight. I hate to face the chief. Oh, why did I have to shoot off my big mouth? Hi, Commissioner, old pal. Hello, Floyd. We've been waiting for you, Gildy. Have you, Judge? Hello, PV. Oh, hello, Mr. Gildy, please. <laughs> Gildy, the chief was so downcast, I had to tell him what you're doing for him. Oh, sure. Hello, but... Mr. Gildersleeve. I knew everything was going to be all right when they told me you were interceding with the mayor. Well, the commission's she... a great guy, any PV. Well, yeah. <laughs> we're all proud of you, Gildy. And grateful. Well, fellows, I have a little statement to make. Now, Commissioner, why don't we just sing a song and let it go at that? But... <laughs> no, 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 PV. How about when good fellows get together? That's the idea. Something with sediment. No, wait a minute, Floyd. Good fellows. I'd like to sing that. Okay, here we go. For it's always... 
good fun. When good fellows get together oh. with a hand clasp of oh. friendship oh. and a good song oh. in prayer. Come on, Commish, we need you. Hey, but you're oh, well. What the heck? <laughs> and it's birds of the feather when good fellows get Finished, Chief. Yes, it established the new low. <laughs> well, I was singing that from the heart and looking right at the water commissioner. You well, as I started to say, when you fellows insisted on singing. Yeah, yeah, the commission had a speech to make. Uh, before you make your speech, Commissioner, I want you to know I phoned my mother in Salinas. You did? She wants to bake you a cake, Commissioner. <laughs> Bless her heart. Bless you, too, Gilda. Oh, my goodness. Look, fellas, I didn't save the chief. You didn't? That's what I've been trying to tell you. What happened, Gilda? Well, I went to bat for the chief, but the mayor wouldn't hear of it. He even threatened to fire me. Sorry, chief. That's all right, Commissioner. I know you did your best. I think I'll go home. I'll drive you home, Chief. I should get home early anyway. Mrs. Peavy has the sniffles. <laughs> Good night, fellas. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Poor guy. Fellows, I couldn't help it. You know I do anything for the Chief. Anything. And I tried. What did the mayor say? Well, he says the Chief never does anything. He never arrests anybody. True. He happens to be a compassionate man. Yeah, he's a good guy. He's true blue. But the mayor wants some action. Too bad there ain't somebody the chief can arrest. This town can't even support a good burglar. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Nothing's happened here since Roly Jones broke into the jail. Oh, Roly is very fond of the chief and the jail. Hey, I got a flash, fellas. If the mayor wants action, why don't we get Roly Jones to pull a job and let the chief arrest him? No, just a minute, Floyd. That isn't honest. I heartily disapprove, Floyd, and I'm sure the chief would, too. Ah, the chief won't know nothing about it. We'd only do it to save his job. Well, you can count me out. You said you'd do anything to help the chief. Well... What about poor Roly Joe? He'll love it. Winter in the nice, warm jail, playing <laughs> pinochle with the chief. Well, I don't like it. But I guess I'm stuck. He don't have to steal anything. Just get caught breaking in someplace. What would he break into? The water department? <laughs> Nothing doing. What about your law office, Judge? No, no, indeed. Don't count me a part of this. Lloyd, what about your barber shop? Uh-uh. Let's pick on somebody who ain't here. <laughs> well, Peavy isn't here. No, he isn't, is he? <laughs> His drugstore is just the spot. You bet. <laughs> What a sneaky way to save the chief's job. Great Gildersleeve will be back in just a moment. If you mothers have a hard time getting your family to eat their vegetables, let Velveeta, Kraft's delicious pasteurized processed cheese food, help solve that problem. How? by melting it for the smoothest golden cheese sauce you ever enjoyed. Then, pour it over those important vegetables. Velveeta sauce is so easy to make. Just melt a half pound of Velveeta in the top of your double boiler. Notice how smooth it melts. Then, add a quarter of a cup of milk, stirring it in a little at a time, and season to taste. That's all there is to it for a delicious cheese sauce that'll give spinach or call or flour or whatever vegetable you choose, a grand cheddar flavor. A flavor that's rich, yet delightfully mild. It's good, and this fine-tasting Velveeta sauce makes those vegetables extra good for the folks, too. From the youngsters to grandma, 
because Velveeta is rich in important food values from milk that everybody needs. And it's as digestible as milk itself. So make Velveeta your handy helper. Melt it for fine hot dishes and slice it or spread it for those wholesome, good-eating snacks and sandwiches you need so often. Just be sure you get genuine Velveeta when you buy. Remember, there's only one Velveeta, and it's made only by Kraft. Let's get back to the great Gildersleeve. Last night at the Jolly Boys meeting, the great man promised to do anything to help Chief Gates keep his job. And Floyd Munson is holding him to his word. Right now, the water commissioner is on his way to the drugstore with a little surprise for Mr. Peavy. Yeah, I wonder if this isn't going a little too far. Good, if the chief doesn't make an arrest soon, the mayor will fire him. Yeah, right, George, you can't blame a guy for going to bat for a friend. And Peavy will be glad to help. All he has to do is let Roly Jones break into his store. Hello, Peavy. Hello, Mr. Gildersleeve. What can I do for you this morning? Peavy, I've got news for you. You don't say it. Yep. Last night after you left, Floyd thought of a surefire plan to save the chief's job. Don't you? Well, it's very confidential, Peavy. But I think you should be in on it. Very well. Now, it stands to reason the mayor won't fire Chief Gates if he makes a spectacular arrest, doesn't it? Well, yes. The chief doesn't know it yet, but he's going to catch old Roly Jones breaking into a store. This is Floyd's idea, you say? Yep. I didn't think it was Roly. Oh, you'll be tickled to death. He'll have a warm place to sleep this winter, and the chief can keep his job. Shrewd plan, eh, Petey? Well, yes, he's very amusing. Whose store are they breaking into? Yours. <laughs> now, Phoebe, all you have to do is leave your alley window unlocked. We'll take care of everything else. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We agree that something has to be done for the chief, don't we? Yes, but can't we do it someplace else? Phoebe, Roly won't steal anything. You know that with Floyd and me there, you've got nothing to worry about. Well, no, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> yeah, these overshoes will come in handy on a night like this. If I can just get them on. Now, yeah. where's my stocking cap? Well, Floyd's right on time. Hi, Commissioner. Come in out of the cold fog. Mm. Did you fix things up with the peeve? Yeah, he's leaving the window open. What about Roly? He's delighted. We're picking him up at the pool hall. Great. I had a little trouble getting out tonight, Commissioner. Oh? Yeah, my wife wanted to know what I was up to. <laughs> That's where I've got it on you married men, Floyd. I come and go as I please. There's nobody to ask a lot of embarrassing questions. Yeah? Did I hear the doorbell, Anki? Yes, my dear. Oh, hello, Mr. Munson. Hi, Marge. Anki, are you going out on a night like this? You will, Marjorie. Hey, what's going on? Now, Leroy. Hi, Mr. Munson. Hi, kid. Where are you going, Anki? Leroy, this doesn't concern you. Who does it concern? Leroy, this isn't your business. Whose business is it? Your No questions, huh, Kamish? <laughs> You're all right, Floyd. It's awfully cold out, Anki. Do you have to go? Now, look, Marjorie, I appreciate your interest. And yours, too, Levi. Oh, that's all right, but where are you going? Now, see here. Mr. Munson and I have an appointment downtown. It's a purely personal affair. Is that understood, Leroy? Sure. Marjorie? Of course, Unky. Good. And there'll be no more questions about it. Miss Gilfrey, where are you going? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Make a break for the car, Floyd. <laughs> Where you're going, Floyd? Relax, Commish. I'm following that truck. Those guys are careful drivers. Yeah, yes, they are. Not crowding you, are we, Roly? Three of us in the front seat? No, I'm very comfortable, thank you. 
You hope we're not putting you out tonight? No, you might say you're putting me in. <laughs> yeah, very good, Rolly, very good. Yeah, it won't be long until you'll be in that nice, warm jail playing pinochle with the chief. I'm looking forward to it. I always like to be in jail by Christmas. You do? Mm, chief always serves stuffed goose and Idaho potatoes and plum pudding. Very kind man, the chief. You are like the way we feel about it. You said it. Mm. I tried to get in for Thanksgiving turkey, but he wouldn't arrest me. Ah, that's the chief. Well, I guess I better park the car in the alley. Yes, Floyd. Hide it between the buildings. Shh, shh, Floyd. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, 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 I hope this snowstorm doesn't last too long. I feel kind of sorry for you gents on the outside. <laughs> yep. Snow's deep, all right. Dark, too. Now... How do we handle this? Come here. Yes, Floyd? Why don't you boost Rolly in the window while I go phone the chief that somebody's breaking in? Yeah, all right. Wait a minute. Why don't you boost Rolly in and I'll do the phone? You're taller than I am. Besides, I already got my nickel out. Yeah. Yeah, all right. You come on, Rolly. The window's around this corner. We better stay in the shadows, Commissioner. We don't want anybody to see us too soon. Yeah, good idea. Stay close behind me. I'm practically in your hip pocket. Watch it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. I'm a little nervous. If the mayor ever caught me doing a thing like this, he really would fire me. Well, come on, come on. Let's break in, Commissioner. It's getting cold out here. Yeah, well, I'll try the window. You? Yeah? You're unlocked. Here, here's my foot. Give me a booster. You all right? Uh, you upsy. Uh, uh, easy. Yeah. You all right, Roby? Well, fine. Say, the coffee pot's still hot. Can I hand you a cup? <laughs> no, thanks, Roby. Mm, dark. Can't see a thing. Yeah, I'll sneak back to the Hi, Commissioner. Yes, Roy! <laughs> Don't do that. Did you get him in all right? Yeah, we're all set. Good. The chief's on his way down. Yeah, well, that must be his car now. Oh, no, he couldn't make it this fast. Well, then who is it? Uh-oh, I'm getting out of here. You're Floyd! Wait! Oops. He's shining a spotlight on me. Who's there? Uh-oh, it's the mayor. Is that you, Gildersleeve? Hello, Mr. Mayor. I was out checking up. I thought I saw somebody sneak into this alley. Yeah, well, I was just taking a little walk. <laughs> uh, taking a walk? Who opened this window? Gildersleeve, you were breaking into PV's store. No, yeah, Mr. Mayor, it isn't me. Somebody else broke in. Oh, and you're the lookout. Yeah. You no. Know, <laughs> no, I... Well, I'm a witness. There's a man in there. I pushed him. I mean, I saw him go in. Gilda Sleeve. No, Mr. Mayor, you know I'm not a prowler. Yes, but it would look awfully good in tomorrow's paper. Oh, brother. Well, I'll prove there's somebody in there. By George, I'll go in and get him. All right, go ahead, Gilda Sleeve. Go and get him. I dare you. All right, I will. I will. I'll stay right here. Oh. Floyd would run away, that coward. I wish I'd run, too. Well, Gildersleeve, where's your prowler? Yeah, I'm looking for it. He was getting a cup of coffee a moment ago. What's that, Gildersleeve? <laughs> Never mind. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> oh, no. Darn coke cases. Prowler. Yeah, I mean... Rolly? Rolly? <laughs> Why doesn't he answer? Who? Say, the front door's closed. No. No, it's open there. There, and he's gone. My goodness, he's gone. <laughs> oh, my goose is cooked. <laughs> well, I may go out, as well go out Phoebe's front door and go around to the alley. Oh, how will I ever explain this to the man? Where did that darn Rolly go to? Without a witness, I'm a dead pitch. The man knows I'm honest, but he'll ruin me for this. Is that you, Mr. Gildersleeve? Chief! Gildersleeve, explain this to Chief Gates. Commissioner, I got an anonymous phone call that somebody was breaking into the drugstore. You, you did? And who do I find climbing in an open window but his honor, the mayor? <laughs> Gildersleeve, explain to this chowderhead. I was coming in after you. Tell him. Who? Me? Kill the slave! <laughs> yeah, this will look pretty good in the papers tomorrow. Imagine. Our mayor. 
Uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Oh. Of course, you couldn't be that. When this is over, you won't have any Hyde. <laughs> no, Commissioner, I think you're being a little too hard on the mayor. What, uh, what did you say, Chief? I can't believe you'd do anything dishonest. Why, of course not. I'm sure you had a good reason for climbing in that window. You're an honorable man. Well, maybe you're right, Chief. Isn't he a fine fellow, Mr. Mayor? Gates, you're a prince, the salt of the earth. As long as I'm mayor of Summerfield, you'll be the chief of police. Isn't that nice? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. You'll always be my friend. And you, too. Fellas, cut it out. I'm getting an icicle on my nose. <laughs> Great Gildersleeve will be right back. When you shop for food for your family, I know you want to be sure you're getting the best. That's why when it comes to a cheese food, always be sure to get Velveeta, Kraft's delicious pasteurized processed cheese food. For you can depend on Velveeta not only to taste good, but to be really good for your family, too. That's because it's so rich in important food values from milk. And Velveeta is as digestible as milk itself. So you can depend on it for wholesome, delicious snacks and sandwiches anytime. No wonder more Velveeta is sold than all other brands of cheese food combined. Make it your handy helper, Mother. Velveeta, the quality cheese food that's made only by Kraft. <laughs> Nice of you to come down to the jail with me, Commissioner. Well, it's a comfortable little spot, Chief. Gets rather lonely down here, though, just me and all the empty cells. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. I wonder what happened to Roly. What happened to who? <laughs> Nothing, Chief. I just said I wondered what happened to... Who's knocking on the jail door? Yes? What do you need, Chief Gates? Well, Roly, what are you doing out on a night like this? I'm trying my best to get in. Arrest me, Chief. <laughs> Roly, I've explained I can't do it. I broke into Pee Wee's drugstore. Oh, then it was you. Sure. The car stopped in front and it wasn't yours, so I ran. But I was in there. Are you sure? I promise. Wasn't I, Commissioner? Well, now you mention it. I recognize him, Chief. Come on in, Roly. Oh, thanks, Chief. Put the coffee pot on. You know where it is. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, isn't that nice? The Chief won't be lonely anymore. Good night, folks. The Great Gildersleeve is played by Willard Waterman. The show is written by Paul West, John Elliott, and Andy White, with music by Robert Ambrose. Listen to the cast of Walter Ketley, Mary Lee Robb, Lillian Randolph, Ken Christie, Stanley Farrar, Porter Hall, Arthur Q. Bryan, Earl Roth, and Dick LeGrand. This is John Heaston saying good night for the Kraft Foods Company, makers of the famous line of Kraft quality food products. Be sure to listen in next Wednesday and every Wednesday for the further adventures of the Great Gildersleeve. Here's a secret for making dull meals interesting. Add Kraft prepared mustard to any meat dish, hot or cold, and see the difference. Hidden flavors pop right out, because when you add a little mustard, you add a lot of tang. There are two kinds of Kraft mustard, you know. Kraft salad mustard, delicately spiced for those who prefer a milder flavor, and Kraft mustard with snappy horseradish added. Have both on hand. For remember, with any meat dish, when you add a little mustard, you add a lot of tang. Get Kraft Prepared Mustard. For a half hour of spine-tingling excitement, hear the Falcon each Sunday over this station. Check your newspaper for time of broadcast and listen next Sunday as the Falcon solves the case of the baby brother. That unconventional gentleman